Today we're here checking out Cypress Point Park, which is a park located in Tampa, and it has some really interesting features. So all the way down at the end of the road, there's a beach, and it's the only beach in Tampa. But to get here, it's really weird because you have to actually drive through like this industrial office park. But other than the beach, there's something really, really unique about this park. And if we wait just a minute, we'll be able to see what it is. Yeah, we are in the flight path for Tampa International Airport. So you have the bathrooms, playground, pavilions. If you want that island feel but can't go to the Caribbean, maybe you're missing St. Martin with the plane, just come here. The path in the park seems to be all paved. Brian had a map that said this was unpaved, but it looks like this is actually newer asphalt. So sneakers are definitely, definitely, definitely gonna be fine for you walking through here. And the other thing that they have here is, um, I was gonna call it ladder golf. <laughs> we just got a ladder ball thing. So anyway, it's Frisbee golf. So here's one here I'll show you. But basically, you stand on this box, just like, you know, you're putting for mini golf, and you have to get it in one of these type cage things. Very technical terms. And each of them have, when you start, they have a map, and it tells you the par. And we have another airplane coming. See if we can see it. Where is it? Here's another one of the ladder, the uh, disc, disc golf, frisbee golf. Oh my gosh, forget it today. Okay, so you have the starting pad here, but this one is crazy because you start here and then your, aim, your goal is to aim here, here, and get it in. 720 feet. I don't know. I, we don't even see the, uh, we don't even see it. So pretty interesting. And I know it's not too expensive to start this hobby. You just have to go to like Dick's Sporting Goods or whatever and make sure you get one, a Frisbee that is for Frisbee golf because they're a different size and weight. Throughout the park, there's lots of these palm trees that looks like they, they planted in order to create the, I'm just gonna call it golf because I've just messed it up too many times in this video. The uh, golf course that runs through it as kind of natural hazards, but it's nice because they also provide a lot of shade. And honestly, it just really looks nice. Lots of bikers here too. So just be advised. So one of the things that you can do is if you want to come to this park and you want to know what airplane is going to be coming in next, 
you can go online. There's different websites like flightstats.com and they will actually, if you put in the um, airport, which is TPA, they'll actually tell you all the incoming flights. So for example, when we were walking, we missed one, which was Atlas Air, AKA, we all know it as Amazon Prime. Uh, so the next two airplanes, it should be a Southwest and a Spirit airplane. So we're going to see if the Spirit, or sorry, the Southwest one did already come in or not. Um, and that will determine what airplane comes in next. Keep in mind that, you know, sometimes airplanes come in early, sometimes airplanes come in late. So if you're looking for a particular one, don't necessarily follow the times.